Hello YouTube, it's Darth Steve 333 here again with a, a, a short, quick pickups video. Short, quick? Short round? I don't know. Uh, quick pickups video, almost a pickups video mini if you like. Um, just recapping the last couple of weeks. Um, basically, I haven't, well, I went to a, a car boot on Saturday just gone, but didn't go to anything on the bank holiday Monday or the Sunday. Uh, main reason. Uh, end of month, uh, lack of money. Anyway, um, this covers a few bits and bobs that I've covered, uh, that I've picked up over the last couple of weeks, um, and also before something that I've forgotten to mention before. So, uh, no time not present. Uh, I don't think I've mentioned either of these. I think I picked these up for a pound or two each, maybe one fifty. Uh, a couple of PS3 games. We've got uh, Call of Juarez, Bound in Blood. Um, not got it, I haven't played it, we'll have a little go, see what I think. Um, the other one is uh, WWE 12 uh, Rock Edition, I think, or the People's Edition. I might have mentioned this previously, same as Call of Juarez, honestly can't remember. So anyway, that is uh, complete as well. Um, so, as I say, pound or two each then. Uh, went to the car boot a couple of weeks ago. Um, some of the things uh, I might have already put away. Some of them I might have uh, traded on after sort of checking to see if they're better than my original copy. So I can't really remember a great deal. Uh, a couple of notable things I did pick up uh, were this uh, Wii controller. It's got the Motion Plus. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it was either a pound or 50p. It didn't have a, a, a back on it. Um, battery compartment looked okay. Got it home, powered it on, it works. So yeah, all synced up and uh, needs a bit of clean up as you can see. But I thought that's uh, worth a pound or 50p of anyone's money. I think it was a pound. Um, and from that same car boot, I think it was, I found this. And this was a bit, I thought, of a bargain. It was two pounds. And it's um, basically a, a gaming mouse. Uh, of which I do have one or two already, but I just couldn't leave it there for the price it was. Two pounds, um, I think it's possibly an older version. They had loads of them as well, they had about six of these and probably about the same number of uh, another model. It's a Razer Death Adder mouse. Um, if it's a knockoff, it's a good one. I've taken it out of the box previously. You can't open the flap because there's like a two year guarantee thing there which I haven't peeled off yet. But uh, yeah, two pounds. Um, right, bought this a couple of days ago, uh, never bought it at the time, my Xbox One collection is a little behind the PS4 collection, um, it's the Crew which I didn't really fancy at full price, this was £5.99, um, it's got uh, well some form of manual and the disc in there, um, let's just see how much the much is, nothing really, controls, warranty information. And a picture. <laughs> anyway, I thought six six quid or five ninety nine that was worth a punt. So that's the Xbox One collection of by one. Um, next, um, Recycle Center, Call of Duty Three for the PS Three. That was a pound. Sims Two for the uh, Macintosh, which I will be trading on. Um, that was a pound as well. Um, Bank on the Monday, I did take some trades up to uh, a local gaming store. Um, I've got some Dreamcast games, so a few more to add to the collection. One of them, um, which, which was uh, 18 Wheeler, um, I'd already got. Uh, I, I don't know how that's going to work. I actually had a picture of the games with me, and uh, I'd actually fold it. Or put, I, I like to put my games in alphabetical order. I'd actually put it under the E section. Because 18 starts with an E, even though um, it also has 18 in the number in the title. So I was looking at the start of the alphabet, couldn't see it, bought it, found out when I got home I'd already got it. Anyway, the other four I haven't got, uh, I've already put them into the uh, Dreamcast Wall of Fame, if you like. Um, so I can't show you them in front of me here uh, without sort of taking them out from their precarious position. So uh, I'll put in a little picture here. And uh, yeah, very pleased with them. 
Uh, the other game that I picked up from there, which was one that I've been looking at for quite some time after seeing the guys on the game shed uh, playing it, it looked like fun and I've been keeping my eyes open for it ever since and I haven't found it in a car boot or um, at a, a charity shop. So um, this was 12 quid or 12 quid with the trade, which I suppose effectively falls down to about I don't know, 4 or 5 quid, which I'm quite happy with. It's uh, War of the Monsters. And it's, uh, I was going to say, it's complete. The uh, the disc is in the PS2 at the moment, so uh, very happy with that. Had a little play, oh, good fun. Uh, right, a um, couple of things from today. Um, I'll show you this first. Once again, Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle Earth 2, Collector's Edition. Um, apologies for any glare you might get in that. Um, it's complete, it hasn't got the outer sleeve, but I do have an incomplete version which I'll put together a good version with this for. This um, will go up on eBay basically because uh, I already have it and um, basically uh, this will help pay for the next two games that I uh, bought from the game shop in the, uh, the town where I work. And I was quite pleased to see these. I picked up the second one of these uh, a few weeks ago. It's Galarian's. Um, Follow-up was on the PS2. This is uh, obviously on PS1. Uh, like I said, I don't think it was actually rated that well on release, but I just like the idea of it. Um, and it's obviously all complete, it's a three-disker. Um, so yeah, looking forward to giving that a go. And this one, which I, I just couldn't leave. Um, this is uh, obviously Grandia. <coughs> and again, it's a uh, nice condition, which is the clincher. Uh, two discs, nice manual. Um, I think that was 25 quid, so I might well have overpaid. This was uh, 9 quid, but I thought, what the hell, I've just got that uh, Lord of the Rings, which will pay the, the main brunt of uh, getting into, so we're uh, very happy with that. Last things that uh, I'm going to show you today are um, things that I actually bought probably two or three months ago and every pickups video I've done, I forgot to show you one. Uh, basically this is from one of these uh, cash converter-esque shops, it's, I think it's uh, like a, an independent version. Same sort of deal, you know, people take their shit in there, uh, get a few quid off it and then if uh, they don't come back and buy it back then uh, it goes on sale. Anyway, um, basically this was in the window, it was running, um, and I couldn't resist it. I know I have one already. Um, it's uh, a Master System 2. As I say, saw it running in the window, so um, that was good. Uh, it comes with a manual, no box unfortunately. Um, what else do we have? We've got the uh, RF cable. We've got uh, one controller and another controller and a third controller and the all important uh, power supply. So, we've got that. Uh, what actually drew me eyes to it was uh, the games that came with it. Um, let's show you what they are. Okay, um, I've already got one of these as well. So. First one, uh, Global Gladiators, nice product placement from McDonald's. Uh, this is the one I already have, Bucky Dime Caper, uh, starring Donald Duck. Uh, Trivial Pursuit, Genius Edition, so Genus Edition. Um, Tom and Jerry the Movie, Lemmings, and the one I was happiest to get out of the lot, Rainbow Islands. And I won't show you all of them, but uh, there we go. Uh, manual, uh, obviously the cartridge. Um, that's a bit, I will show you more. There you go. Um, this, again, I might well have overpaid slightly, but I thought, well, I could probably move the system on, having already got one. Well, I've already got one of the Master System 2s and two. That's the system model ones. Um, it's got a little poster in as well. Um, yeah, and I can keep what I, I want out of them. So uh, 
effectively, in the end, that won't have cost me 35 quid. So anyway, it, it weren't too bad price. So I was very happy to pick that up. And like I say, very happy to get especially lemmings on Rainbow Islands. So um, that about does it for today. Nice short video. Um, I will be posting this up hopefully in the next day or two. Weekend that's coming, today's Thursday. Uh, weekend that's coming, I will be doing a, a car boot or two. So uh, hopefully there'll be something a little more substantial up shortly. And uh, harking back to um, the last video where I picked up the um, game recording device, still haven't tested it. I've just been getting back from work, so knackered the last uh, couple of weeks. I've just basically sat down in front of YouTube and uh, sort of watched some videos, caught up on stuff I've heard, you know, uh, people I haven't watched for a bit. That includes you too, T. I, I tend to save yours up and then watch them one after the other. I don't know if that's just, uh, what's the word? I don't know if that's unique to myself or whether other people do that, but anyway, um, I'm catching up on them. So uh, once I've finished catching up on my videos, I'll, uh, I'll try and post some gameplay footage uh, if it works. It's crossing. Anyway, that's enough of my gabble. Uh, this is Dive Steve 333 signing off. Bye.